how to make snacks easy at home, I got you. Welcome back, my name is Chef D and today we are going to be doing my favorite pinwheel, how to make a pinwheel sandwich snack. Now what I love about these is that you can honestly make so many of them like you'll see in the video, I literally store them up and I use them throughout the week. If I'm hungry for lunch, if I'm hungry for dinner, if I'm hungry for a snack, some munchies, even at breakfast. I mean, honestly guys, you can have these for anything pretty much. But what I love about this and the spin that I love about this is that I'm actually going to be using cream cheese and wild berry jam. And I'm gonna be mixing that together. It's gonna be sweet, it's gonna be salty, and it's gonna be something that you never knew you wanted but you're gonna love it and i'm pairing this off with my favorite cheese with my favorite ham i'm gonna show you the way i roll them up i slice them up guys the visuals are just stunning y'all stunning so i can't wait for you guys to try this combo and this recipe this is honestly i would say like a sandwich but like make it into a wrap style but super super easy and super fresh and you can really play around with it like if you want regular flour uh wraps if you want multi-grain wraps i mean literally guys you can change this recipe up but the basic concept of this snack is here in this video so guys i hope you enjoy and let's go to the clip let's start off with these amazing snackable pinwheels so right here we have two 10 inch flour tortillas we have my favorite blueberry preserve we're really just gonna need a kitchen knife a dining knife a fork and a bowl let's start by adding in our cream cheese and our preserve of choice now you can either have like I'm having the wild berry preserve or you could have a mixed berry jam or a strawberry jam which are my favorite or the original Costco recipe which is the cranberry sauce for this recipe I am using one fourth cup of softened cream cheese and two to three tablespoons of the strawberry preserve or the blueberry preserve just in case you want to make it sweeter just add that three tablespoons if not just stick with two tablespoons as well if you want to have some extra dip might as well just do the half a cup of cream cheese and three tablespoons of the preserve or jam of choice lay your tortilla of choice onto your cutting board and spread a thick layer of that cheesy spread all over the tortilla i would say almost to the edge of the tortilla but not overflowing to the edge the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to start by adding in our lettuce of choice mine is romaine but you can definitely use what you have for goodness sakes i think you could even use spinach next we're going to be adding our two slices of cheese and our deli meat of choice right here i am using a smoked turkey creole turkey smoked blend oh that was a long one and i'm adding the tomatoes that i've sliced and half and this is pretty much the only thing that you need to make these pinwheels now the only thing that we're learning here is pretty much rolling this kind of like a burrito style so starting from one end of the tortilla start by rolling it up tightly towards the other end we're going from literally one end to the other meanwhile we're doing this please make sure that you're doing this tightly so the cream cheese sticks literally everything together and once we're done doing this we are just going to be slicing this up now the slicing this really just depends on what you want if you want a thick slices if you want more of a thin slice remember this is really a recipe about making it to your preference i'm just giving you guys the tips and tricks that i love to make this recipe with and now I'm just going to be storing these for later on. I'm probably going to have two of the edges and then the rest I'm going to meal prep and have them for my whole week. Now, just a disclaimer, you can definitely play around with them. If you would like to serve them right away, you can go ahead and do so and store them up. So now we're going to get started on the second roll up. We're pretty much doing the same thing. Slather that thick cream cheese, and then, you know, go ahead, go in with your lettuce of choice, deli meat, cheese, tomato. It is just absolutely delicious, y'all. Now, another tip that I found was really useful. If you wanna store them in the fridge, please store them in an airtight container or a tight Ziploc bag. But also what I love to do is wrapping each already rolled up tortilla 
everything ready to go in a plastic wrap and then twisting it up, making it tightly and just placing it in the fridge. And whenever I'm ready to eat, I'll just slice them up right on that plastic wrap and serve them up or I'll leave it for later on in the week when I'm ready to eat them. Now these pinwheels do last up to a week. I'm going to be honest with you, I have actually had these in my fridge for two weeks. I'm saying one week, but for safety measures, but I've actually had these pinwheels for two weeks and honestly, they still taste amazing. Now I'm going to leave you with the B-roll. If you guys didn't know what B-roll was when it comes to videos, it's pretty much the behind the scenes of everything that could go on a video, but sometimes doesn't make it because it might be longer or I just want to give you some food porn. In this instance, I'm giving you some B-roll and some food porn. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video of the week. This is actually my how to prepare easy snacks at home series recipe. Last week was the Greek feta dip. This week is my sweet and salty pinwheels. And I will see you next week with another snack option. Ciao guys. Y'all, look how beautiful this pinwheel came out. Look at those layers. I mean, can we talk about yum? Let me give it a try. Mm. Mm. Y'all, it's so, it's so creamy. And then you have like that cheese and then you have that like, really really tart bite from like that ham oh my goodness and then like that combination of like the lettuce and the tomato y'all and that crunch from the lettuce you guys you, you guys have to try this out you can even make it with the kids with friends have them at a party perfect for summer really perfect for any occasion so guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you next week ciao